In recent years, work has undergone a major shift. What was once viewed as a means to an end or a way to support our families has shifted into something much greater. Today, more than ever, we seek jobs that align with our values and give us purpose. The focus on finding a personally fulfilling career is a relatively new phenomenon. It's certainly something our parents and grandparents didn't emphasize nearly as strongly as we do now. But what happens when we're at a job that no longer gives us meaning? We now face a dilemma of choosing to stay on our current path, risk switching to a new job, which may or may not fulfill us any more than our current one does, or go back to school for something completely different. My name is Dr. Jody and I'm a registered psychologist with expertise in all things related to psychological health and resilience. I'm also the CEO and founder of MyWorkplaceHealth.com, and I'm a national expert on psychological health and safety in the workplace. In this video, I'll be talking about making career choices and what to consider if you're thinking about changing your career by going back to school. Certainly the work that we do in our day-to-day -day lives is an important part of who we are and it can have a tremendous impact, positive or negative, on our level of happiness, personal fulfillment, sense of self, and just overall quality of life. Unfortunately, there's no right or wrong answer to the question of staying in a career or going back to school. Ultimately, it comes down to personal values and choice. Logistical considerations are of course important, but our biggest barriers are often psychological. As we age and as we have more financial commitments, or as we're looking to move forward in other aspects of life, like children or travel, making a career shift becomes a more and more challenging decision to make. Here are some things to consider if you're considering whether or not to change careers or go back to school. First, are you worried age is a primary barrier? If so, five words. You're still very young. Research tells us that the average person entering the workforce now will make up to seven distinct shifts in their career throughout their lifetime. A number of factors, such as enhanced life expectancy, the changing nature of society and work, and financial demands, are leading people to work years longer than our predecessors, with the average age of retirement now close to 70. The good news is this extended work life ties into our overall extended life expectancy. For those of us in our current working years, our projected life expectancy is now estimated to be well over 100. Second, ask yourself if you could truly and sincerely see yourself in your current career for the rest of your life. If that thought evokes considerable emotional or cognitive distress, you have your answer. Third, consider how eminent other future changes are. It's certainly responsible to be planning for your future but do you have immediate plans to make significant changes in your life? You're doing an injustice to yourself if you delay making a career transition because of future unknowns that may or may not happen as you have planned. Fourth, maintenance of your current lifestyle and financial obligations is a very real consideration. Think about whether there's ways to be creative and working around this as a barrier. Consider cutting down on expenses, on other areas that may be less meaningful, or consider a roommate or a homestay student to help reduce mortgage costs. Starting a part-time program of study that allows you to continue to work and earn a salary may be a nice balance that fits with maintaining your current lifestyle while continuing to pursue alternate career aspirations. Fifth, modern technology now allows for a range of learning environments, including virtual and online, which allows much more flexibility in terms of options to learn and upgrade skills. Do some online searches to see what programs and certificates may align with your interests. Many online training opportunities have a lot of flexibility in terms of scheduling and allow extended time windows for course completion. Sixth and finally, meet with a career counselor at a local college or university. This may help provide you with a range of creative options. For example, obtaining a specialized certificate or upgrading in a particular area may be enough to open other career doors without having to start fully from scratch. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you found this video helpful. Please take a moment to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and follow us on social media for more helpful tips.